All right, what's up? What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday, and you know what day it is? It is the first sweater day of the year. That's right, it's finally cold enough. We had our first snow in Michigan, so I am now here in a sweater. Um, and we've got some hot stocks today, guys. Um, so, so I mean, let, let's get into what we're going to cover today. Uh, first things first, we, we did a vote yesterday where we asked for the name of the show. We, we, we had the group of everybody vote on what are we calling this thing. We've been doing it for a month now, nameless for that entire month. Uh, and, and despite the definitive winner being Stock Squirts, uh, somebody in the chat yesterday, they had the analogy that, that voting for Stock Squirts is like voting for the Green Party. Your voice is heard, but it, it doesn't matter for the final result. We're, we're going with Power Hour, baby. That is right. We are here now on our Tuesday Power Hour. Uh, things we're going to be talking about today, we're going to be giving an updates on the Tesla trades, the Tesla option trades that Jason and I each made. I'm also going to be taking a crack at NEO live on the show, so we'll get there. Um, we've got some hot stocks in the portfolio, uh, and we're going to go through the most read stories on Benzinga.com. And of course, as always, guys, the whole point of the show, the, the reason why we are spending you know, 45, 50 minutes here together every single day is to make this the best trade idea resource that we have. You know, Those ideas are not just coming from myself, not just coming from Jason, but, but from the whole crowd that we have out there, guys. So please, always be dropping in the tickers that you're trading, uh, you know, you know, any setups that you have, if you have options trades. I mean, we, we've got such a big options crowd with us here. Um, so, so, so go ahead and get those in. And guys, if uh, go ahead and join the Benzinga YouTube. I, I see a lot of people right now watching us on Twitter and, and a handful on Facebook. YouTube is what we use to uh, to pull the chat. So, so if you want to participate in that chat and, and really be a part of the community, go ahead and search Benzinga YouTube. Um, and what's up, everybody? Hello, hello. Yeah, a lot of people wish that we named the show uh, Stock Squirts. It's not happening, even though y'all voted for it 78 times. That was about half of the total votes. Um, and all right, I'm going to start by, by clicking into the portfolio. Again, this is this is the live portfolio that we look at every day. And we have got some hot stocks here today, baby. Let, let's, let's run through a couple of them. The first one on the list, Voyager Digital. If you, if you didn't get in this one, you, you missed out. Check this out. We are now up 121% on, on Voyager. We, we not only said that, that we were buying the stock, we actually had the CEO of the company on the show who talked about the story. I, I, if you guys remember, last week I actually tried to buy more of this stock, but Interactive Brokers blocked me for some reason. Um, I, I still don't know why I got blocked, but, but I got blocked from buying more. But this is our crypto play. Right, we we saw crypto going crazy. We saw a ton of interest into crypto. The, the Voyager Digital, they, they are a crypto trading platform. The stock wasn't moving. It's why we tried to add more to the position. And then today we're finally getting that run up. So there's a nice fifteen percent right there. Boom, Ford. There is another one. Ford was our long term pick. We're getting a nice six and a half percent run in Ford today. Oil we talked about yesterday. Still getting my ass kicked in oil overall. Check that out down 49% from the average price there, but four and a half move in oil. And, and again, we talked about oil yesterday, just being a portfolio allocation. We've got about two and a half percent of the portfolio is in oil, uh, you know, sort, sort of as a move just to help keep us diversified, keep some of those energy plays in there. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys one more GMHI, another hot stock that we bought on the show, another 4% today. Up 22% on this thing. It has been on a tear. I've got a stop loss in GMHI. Let me click over to the trusty Benzinga Pro here. GMHI. Will I get a search? There we go. All right. And I'm going to click this chart over to a three month here. All right. See how we, we have some, some, some pullbacks here. We, we've got some lows down here. In GMHI, so I did put a stop in the stock. I put it at 1260. So if we fall through that previous support, we are stopping out of the position. We're, we're taking a nice 15% profit on that one and running. Otherwise, we let the momentum keep carrying it. Let's see if we can get another four or five percent on that thing tomorrow. So those are the trades, uh, and, and we're leaving out one very important one. And I'm going to get started with mine, and, and hopefully Jason will. We'll have a chance to hop on with us as well. But let's talk Tesla, baby. 
Tesla is the name to watch. Well, come on, come on. If you want Tesla, you can't, you can't talk Tesla without me. I am the Tesla guy. Well, come let's on. Go. At, th at 398, you guys said it was dead money, and I was going all in. I have my long calls on Tesla. Um, whoa, those are up a lot. See? I, I mean, I bought, I can't, yeah. Like, if you guys just did what I said on this Tesla multiple times, you'd be up. It was 390 to 400 after battery day when everyone said, oh, it's dead. Battery day wasn't as good. I sold before battery day and I bought the day after battery day because I knew battery day was built up way too much, way too much. And people are going to sell off because they were never going to set Tesla. Here's the reason, guys, why I knew this. Tesla's never wasn't going to announce a battery that lasts 1,000 miles. That's what people were expecting. Them. One million uh, hour battery and test, you know, last a thousand miles or 800 miles. The reason they can't do that is because then there's residual values on leases and cars that people own would go, would drop way, way Wait, Wait but do you think that's why they didn't do that? It's not because oh. the technology wasn't there? Okay, that's a good point. The technology may not be there, but they've definitely improved the battery cell thing where they could probably increase the battery um, capacity way quicker than they are for the cars. But 100%, even if the battery capacity was there, Luke, if they could do a 1,000, they would not announce that. That would kill the residual market. It yep. would just, it would kill Absolutely. it. So, so I, so I said, okay, it's going to sell off. And I own a lot of Tesla. So I bought some puts the, you know, the day, that day of um battery day it went down from 425 to like 390 and then i waited and then i bought some calls and i bought more stock and so that's what i did now i look at my account and it's the biggest loan i've ever had and and it, it, it and like biggest my account and like tast up 40 cents to 637 that's carol's restaurant group brian jacoby was on the show last week talking about this restaurant it's at 639 we bought it at dude we, we are we are putting um, out some monster uh, trades. G GB GBTC. I know uh, some people said, why am I buying it? Because it's not as, um, well, how much did I buy? Let me see. Where's my total cost? I don't, I, when I switch columns, it's so annoying. I can't find my total cost. But GBTC we bought, and people are like, oh, you should just buy in Coinbase or Voyager. But, um, you know, I didn't do it that way because I, want, I just didn't have the account set up. So I just bought it here, and it's been... You know, because you know what it what it's doing. So, yep. um, yeah, and you're in Voyager Digital too, the stock, correct? Yeah, but not as much as I was. Like, I I think I sold a lot of it at eighty cents or something, and now it's like a dollar fifty. So I'm like, should I check, buy it back? Check this out. One hundred and twenty one percent. I, I, I know a weird dot, and we had it like twenty cents, okay, and yeah. I know. And so then I sold most of it because I was trying to buy some other stuff. So I, I actually have it in another account. So that's why I guess I'll buy some. Right. I mean, maybe I'll and, and check this one out. Chris K getting some love in the chat. What's Voyager's symbol? Well, will somebody give us the OTC symbol for, for Voyager Digital? Will somebody drop that in the chat? I, I own the Toronto v listed stock. V Y G V F. Yeah, I used to own a bunch of this and we were down so much, but I own it in another account. It's 114. I'll do it's up 20%. I'll just buy so people choice word. Oh, Benzinga. If you go to E Trade, the top article is Benzinga. Um, there you go. I'm just going to buy some so I have it in my account again. I, I don't know why I took it out of this one because then I have to track it. So let me just buy some right now. I'm buying some as we speak. And, and Chris K, guest on the show yesterday, he made a call in IMMR Immersion. That. He's getting that some yesterday. love in the chat for, for that one. So, all right, so you bought that yesterday. Today? You're up 3%. Let me Let's see. Let's go. It. Hot stock time, baby. I bought that yesterday because he said it. So you're saying I'm up 3%. If I. Bought it, yes, so let's so see. Did you buy stock or did you buy options? It's IMMR. What'd you just say? IMMR immersion. Yep, yep. I bought IMMR. I bought stock. I bought about two thousand shares, so I'm up about five hundred bucks on it. There you go. My upwork is still going up. Okay. Um, the TAST. I see. The reason I keep paying this TAST is because I haven't owned it a year. I bought it in the beginning of Corona, and so I'm not selling no matter what. You're a bag holder. Wait, you've had you bought it before Corona, right? No, no, I oh, no. Corona, okay. one forty nine. Okay. I, I bought, let's say, I bought ten thousand or twelve thousand shares. I sold half of it, and I have like say six thousand left. Uh, my, I... my Royal Caribbean uh, is up a lot. Wait, whoa! My Royal Caribbean call options are up hundred percent today. Wow. Okay. We're getting yeah. some life out of the all the cruise lines and entertainment stuff. Um, I like Lulu. Someone's asking about Lulu, but I, I like Lulu. We'll talk about like you know the one I guys the one that. Um, you know, you know the one that I haven't done well on. It's my GAN, so it's just sitting there. So instead of me selling that, that you know Voyager, I should have sold some more GAN, I guess. Yep. You know. Um, Let's talk about these Tesla options trades that we made. 
So I'm, I'm going back to my portfolio. Check this out. All right. So so here was here was the trade that I did on on Tesla. Right? Is I I sold one put four hundred dollars strike for for December thirty first. And so basically the way that it worked is um, pull up the calculator. 1059 was the contract price times 100. So basically I got $1,000, 1059 credited to my account right away. As long as Tesla is above 400 bucks on December 31st, I keep that $1,000 of free money. Well, check out what's happened to the contract since then. The, the Tesla has continued to rise since we made that trade just two days ago. Uh, and so I could get out of this trade now. But by, by buying back my contract and make 528 bucks on the transaction versus the 1060 total. So so I'm actually considering that, right? We, we said I, I make $1,060 if Tesla's above 400 bucks, 41 days from now. But in two days, I already made half of that, right? If I already made half of it in two days, I, I'm considering just closing the trade and not even thinking about it. Take my free 500 bucks, you know, put, throw it back into something else. So, so, you're so, do so it that's my option trade. I'm not going to do it right now. I am going to consider, I, I'm probably going to take a crack at Neo during the show today. I've got a decent amount of cash right now in the portfolio um, to deploy. So I think I'm going to take a crack at Neo in a little bit here. But but that's my Tesla trade moving very well for me again. I thought I was going to have to wait 41 days to make a thousand bucks, made 502. So, so I might just close it out and, and look for the next trade to put on. Okay. All right. Um, what, what's up with your Tesla trade? Well, Tesla. Well, okay. Well, I'm back to Tesla trade. Oh yeah, we got to stay. Let's on talk about the Tesla it. options, baby. I got. I got it. I got. I got you. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna put an alphabetical order because I have so many Tesla holdings here. Like so many. Different. So I have the Tesla calls. Like, like you know that my my January, you know, 21st when I bought for 540 when I was at 390, people thought I was insane. Are up 317 percent right now. So that's nice. Then the December's. This December, what is that, 600s? What the heck? Let me make sure I got Let me re read this back. The, the test, uh, the December 20, oh yeah, that's what the calls you guys had me sell. Okay, that's, okay, so I sold those call, I sold those calls December 600, and they're down 91%, it says. So I don't know what that means, Luke, but you're saying if it doesn't go to 600 you're, by December, then I'm still good? You're still good if it doesn't go to 600 by December. What's it at right now? We're at 545. If it goes over 600, you're still okay because you own the stock. It just means you're selling 100 shares of your stock at 600 bucks. <laughs> That's still to... way above what you bought it for. So, so you're still okay. I know, but I don't want to sell the stock. So let me ask you a question. What if I went to go sell the calls today? What, what's the price? What, what's the you, you tell me. You have it open. 11, I said I paid 11.65 and they're at $22. You, you sold them for 11.65 and yep. they're at 22 now. So you could buy yourself out of the position for 22 times 100. So you're paying twenty two hundred bucks. Okay. So, but let's just say I want to buy something. And you got later. credited eleven hundred bucks. I got it. I got so, it. So let me ask you. So if I wanted to sell a call today, they're twenty two bucks. Yes. Got it. If I don't believe it's gonna get to six hundred by December. Yeah. Probably. I just did this because of Brent for me. Yeah. This is funny. Uh, I don't. I don't. So I don't love these trades. But okay. I got it. I got it. Um, it's all right. So that's my thing. Oh, my, my long calls are, are very long and doing well. You know, like you, I just gave them the, 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 I have the December five twenties. So the December five twenties are up 207%. You're in and the my, money as of the, today, you're in the money. And my January, my January five forties are 317%. I only wish I bought more, right? Like I, I spent a decent amount, not a, no, not crazy, but the, yeah, this is my high, this account is Definitely high, and I'm and I'm not aggressively trading right now. I wish I what, I wish I was trading like I was in the middle beginning of Corona because this account I would have a lot a lot more trades on right now. But I don't. But I bought like immersion. I bought some of the stuff that Chris Kaji said yesterday. I thought he had some great ideas. I like the yeah, IMMR really. play. I bought a decent size, and I and I you know what? I'm gonna buy options on it right now. I'm gonna buy IMMR options. I bought the call. I bought regular stock. It was like a mid level position. Um, but I'm gonna buy some calls too. So um, let's do that. What do we got? 8:30. So I'm gonna. We could do it on the screen if you want. Let me let me show. Take it screen. over. Show it off. And I'm then all I'm right. gonna start getting set up for my neo trade. Or I'm gonna look, start looking at the chart at least. All right, all right. I'm gonna share my screen, fellas. Okay, hold on. I don't even know what's going on in this show today. I'm so lost today, but it's okay. 
Don't be lost. Next up, we're going to trade. So you're going to make a trade. I'm going to make a, a hit on Neo. We're, we're going to pull some tickers out of the chat, and then we're going to look at the most read stories on Benzinga. That, that's our roadmap to trade ideas today. All right. All right. So you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. I see it. it it's uh, sized for ants, though. Can you give us a zoom? There we go. All right. All right. So we got an 830. Um, we're at 830. So I'm going to go to... I have no clue about this stock really that much, but I'm going to got to do one thing. I got to go to Benzinga Pro for one thing like real quick just to see what our 52-week high and low is. Oh, that didn't work too well, but let's just. Okay, 52-week high and low is, all right, 423 and 1080. All right, so I'm going to go move out to February. Going to February. Okay, we got that. Now I'm going to move the strike to I'm going to 830 or 10. Pens, the uh, spread is pretty large. I'm going to go for the tens, I think. Fives, that could be. I'm going for the tens. This thing, for what he says, controllers, people are buying them like crazy, staying at home. I'm going for it. I'm going to buy. This could be a total dog, but that's what I'm doing. So trade in the tens. Okay. Here we go. Execute. We're gonna buy. Um, we're gonna buy open four, ten, twenty calls. What are we gonna do? Let's see, what we got limit on this account. This is my fun account. So it's this is why it's a fun account. So I do this kind of stuff here. We're gonna up those calls. So on options, I take much smaller bets on options much smaller bets than i take on other stuff just dr drastically different because and I what, think what's options, your strike price uh 10. And what's the stock at 835. all right so yeah, you're going a decent bit out of the money oh earnings will be late february early march that's not going to work uh chris got, i got to go to may oh these are going to be more expensive now I'm not liking that trade now because if they're if the earnings are early February, see, I didn't open pro for that. Um, hmm, I'll just go a bit of eight. These may, this may not get executed then. I'll do a good for 60 day and I'll go to 20. All right, because uh, yeah, these may not get executed, but who knows? That's what we'll do. All right, you like that, Chris? All right. I hope Chris is right on that. They all use this stuff because that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, and right, 120 viewers, 18 likes. Let's go, guys. Get these likes up. Let's go. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's, that's bullshit, guys. Especially Come after on. we let you all vote on the name. Maybe people are yeah. pissed we did not call it Stock Squirts. But Come I was, on. had a full disclosure. We're not calling the show Stock Squirts. Yeah. So I like made... Benzinga Back Mountain, though. That was a good one. Benzinga what? Benzinga Back Mountain. It was creative. Um. All right. So I did that trade there. Uh, what was one? There was another one of Chris's trade. I cr trades. I, I, I wish John. We got. LeBron we've we've got the the IPO. The it's it's the Russian Amazon, or or maybe we should start calling it the Russian Jumaya. Let's see. I'm seeing the ticker O Z O N in the chat. Let's pull that one up. Ozon Holdings. Nope, not it. Not a penny. Chris, will, you're not, you're not sure. you want to share your fight. screen here? No, I failed. I don't know what the right ticker is. But let's, all right, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Somebody tell us what, what that actual IPO ticker is. But let's talk about the stock that everybody cares about, the hottest thing around. Jim Cramer tweeting against the stock this morning. We, we had a collapse and a little bit of a pullback today. NIO, N-I-O, this is your uh, uh, Chinese Tesla. And Jason, I'm getting a little bit of, of feedback or, or echo. Um, but all right, uh, but before I make a trade on this one, I'm going to ask the question to the group. Uh, again, we're, we've been crowdsourcing the stock every day since the last week. If you like Neo right here, you would go long it, hit a one. If you don't like it, you'd bet against it, hit a two. Uh, you, you know, you can't abstain. You you have to pick one way. Let's say that's what the scenario is, because I'm picking one way. And, and so so yesterday are on the still, show, are you still hearing echo? You're still hearing echo? Echo, echo. Nope, no. Nope. Uh, yeah, sorry, I am. You are. How about try now? How, wait, not yet. try now. Do that's I hear an echo? Yeah, a little bit. All right, I don't know what it is. 
Okay, all right. I'll talk a little quieter. I, I get fired up, okay? Yeah, I got to stop having all these energy drinks. Before I think, we need, to put, I think we need to have a bigger divider between us. That's what I think the problem is. All right, here. I'll set this up. Charlie okay. Gross. And we're going to be playing a prank, too, by the way, on someone very soon. All right, that's... So yeah, just go yeah, over your thing. There. Go, all right, so, so 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 here's the Neo trade again. Give give us a one if you like Neo. Give give us a two if you don't like Neo. Uh, but but yesterday I, I said that I was going to uh, take a crack on the short side of this stock. I'm going to short it with puts because I do not short stocks outright that go up more than 100. percent that, That's a rule I learned the hard way. Uh, so 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 let's look at, at where the puts are in this thing. It it found its top yesterday. It made it through through the previous all time high. Found a top, got hammered this morning, and is now just sort of hanging out in no man's land. So, so I'm going to go a little ways out. Let's pull up this this neo option chain, and let's see all these one two one two one two one two one two. All right, the 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 group is divided on neo, and I'm getting a, a little bit of, of chirping on this trade. But all right, so so we're we're going out a little bit. Uh, let's go past the end of the year. I'm gonna look at January fifteenth, because because I hate buying short term uh uh contracts. So all right, here's January fifteenth. Come on, interactive brokers, load for me, baby. All right, so here's the strikes. I was looking at thirty five yesterday. Is what I was looking at on the strike price. So. These are, these are now two bucks. They were a dollar thirty-five yesterday. How much does it cost us if we want to go up to forty? If we want to go up to forty, it's three dollars and forty cents, or, or three hundred and forty dollars to put the trade on. I'm gonna go with the forties. That that's the move. It is we are going to buy these. Uh, uh, we're we're gonna buy three forty-dollar strikes in Neo. So, so, so I'm, I'm going to buy three of them. That means the total trade size is, is going to be about a thousand bucks. We're, we're making money. If Neo get, gets below 40 bucks by, by January 21st, or really it needs to get below about 46 or sorry, 36 bucks. Uh, but I'm planning on trading around this position, right? If we see another five, $10 pullback, I mean, we're going to be up one, 200% on these contracts and, and we'll, we'll dump out of them right there. So, so, so here's the trade I'm putting it on. It is in for Neo. I think that the valuation cannot be justified. Uh, I mean, it's sitting there at a forty billion dollar market cap. The company is worth more than Ford. Went from two to fifty in a year. We're, we're taking the crack at Neo on the short side. We are filled. All right. Now let's watch this thing. Fingers crossed, guys. If you're doing this one with me, we're, let, let, let's bet this stock down. Let's get some more Jim Cramer hate on the stock going. I mean, that that never hurts. Uh, and maybe we'll get another report out of uh, Citron over the next 50 days or so. You would, you would like you would like that, wouldn't you? I would love that. Because again, yeah. I don't need the stock to go to 36. If this thing makes a run to 45 within the next two two days, the next week, I mean, I'm out of that trade up 300% all day. True. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, no, I... It's just like these Chinese... I mean, these these Chinese... The Chinese electric companies are trading like dot coms of 2000. They don't have fundamentals. They don't even produce cars for half of them. And they're trading like they're the highest things ever, you know? Yep. So I, I don't know what the, it's, it's, it's so crazy. Yeah, so now we got, I've got two EV trades on with long Tesla by selling puts, short Neo by buying puts. That's you're like, you're, you're like a trader now. I'm, I've always been the hot stocks, man. Maybe you're like a true trader. I got I, some, I got some, some fire in this thing. I think Jerry likes that trade too, so he may he may want to. Jerry likes that trade. Yeah, see my friend. Jer Forty by Jan, second wave is behind it. Let's Jer go. Jerry and Elaine stop by today. See. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, Jerry and I Elaine. I missed the reference. Yep, they they stop by the office, you know, and they'll be they'll be visiting every so often. Um, but we'll good luck with that trade. Look at that quality of your camera. Whew, it's good lighting. <sighs> Yeah, great. Yeah, look that's at that. That's what we do. We pick hot okay. stocks. We get good cameras. We get Seinfeld cutouts. I mean, that's that's the name of the game. Um, okay, so there's something that the users want, and and I figured I'd just have this conversation here. I told the guy, can he chat? And he said he could chat. So instead of me, he thought I was just going to call him, but instead of him calling him, I'm just going to bring him on the show. Oh yeah, who is it? Well, you'll see. But um, so no, um, he hasn't clicked on it yet. So. All right. So what else are you got? What else are you guys buying in, in the 
you'll be using what yeah else, let's what, let's take some tickers out of the chat what are you guys buying and selling what crazy trades like like high risk ones big growth you know like what are yeah some of the ones, we, we like know? big bets Big bets. I mean, that's what I, I'm. Big bets. I put big bets. But, on but work. quite honestly, our both of our like uh, trading style is sort of cons like we're very buy and hold guys. But very what buy and like hold? Like we're yeah. we're buy and hold. Like, yep. like you know what I mean? Like like when we're putting out these stocks, like your Tesla, it's but a like, three year trade. My Ford is a one year trade. But the big bets make it I'm fun. In, I'm, in, I'm in Ford, by the way. So that was good. I'm in Ford. And yeah, twelve percent. Let's go. Seven percent today. And I just added to the position today. Um, you know what's one I was looking at today? I told you about during the pandemic that you did what, buy. <laughs> no, uh, Striker, S Y K. That one. Remember, I was saying like like they make all the hospital beds and they're gonna sell a shit ton of them, and the stock was depressed from COVID. That's smart. I just checked that one today. That one's up seventy percent from when we got it. That's oh wow. So, yeah, Dix is interesting, and so is Best Buy. But I mean, they're getting some, okay. But I want to bring in the guy real quick. Um, let's bring him in. John G, I, I said I would call you. Oh shit! What? John G's here. I said, <laughs> "Go, what's up, guys?" I said, I said, "If you had a minute, can you chat?" And you said yes. So instead of just calling you on the phone, I just figured I'd call you here. Um, I thought that was easier. Um, you know what I mean? And, and if yeah. you guys don't know John G, he was on a little bit ago talking to us about Cloudflare. He, he was basically making the case that this is a stock that. A lot of enterprises, if, if not a majority of them, are going to need to use. He 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 is uh, uh, one of our leading engineers here at Benzinga, software engineer. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for having me on, guys. So, um, John G. So the reason I was calling you is because some of these trading ideas, like I gave Upwork, um, you know, Tesla, and all this stuff, and these different picks, and Luke, and we're giving the results. You were on the show a couple of weeks ago, and you said you're going to have a way that they can see the picks. So they you know, be able to click my name and then see all my holdings or not just the holdings, see the history of my picks and the dates so they can see what the returns are. John G is supposed to have that out for testing this week um, where you guys can see all my picks. You could see the date I did it and the, my, my, reason for, my reason for buying. So literally I just bought, I added to my position on Ford. And the reason I added to it because I'm liking the momentum and everyone's talking about it. And right now, if you're not listening to the show and you miss one day of the show, but tomorrow you do listen to the show, you may or whatever you want to see what you missed, you let us see it on this page. You guys, if you want that, if you want that page to be done like sooner than later, right <laughs> pressure now, this every, guy. Send me some Bitcoin. <laughs> every, everyone right now, write the word the name John. Or no, just the letter J. Just put the letter J. If you want to see this, write the letter J. Just the letter J. So um, put it in the chat so John sees what we need to get done here. We need to get this thing live. And you said last Friday or Saturday, and now it may not even be this week. So I'm nervous. So I need your help. That's why I'm bringing John on. So you guys to get this page, so you can see all the the history of ideas that we have from the show. All right. We don't have any J's. Yeah, that's so. the, it's, a very, it's a very exciting product, to be honest. Like you guys should be throwing some J's down in the chat because it, it'll be very fun to like collaborate and, and see. No one's throwing J's out. Unless we're delayed, no one's throwing J's. No one wants to see the history of my trades and the results because people can just come in and say after the fact, you'll see the real deal Evander Holyfield. You know, you'll see when I buy GAN, you'll see all this. Press one if you want it. Maybe like that better. Press one if you want it, two if you don't. All right. That's what you got to do now. One or throw down the J's. I like that. Throw the J down. I said it, but no one's doing J's. I don't know. Maybe there's a bias against J's. I don't know. John what has like a potato camera. I mean, this yeah, is what like is a camera? 1998. Oh, like on the, a Skype call. the J's just appeared like crazy. Whoa, they are. Yeah, there. see, we're too delayed. many J's. Too many there's J's. The J's, baby. Yeah. J's, oh, we're, we're throwing J's. Because we're throwing J's. I should literally give everyone out John's cell phone so you guys text him so he stays focused on this. Because yesterday I saw him on the New York Post for hey. 10 minutes. And like you need to get this thing done. We need Throwing to get that. Throwing making trades. That yeah, we're working hard on it. Because literally, my brother wants to see, or someone wants to see my my trades or my and the percentage. Because like I own that Upwork. I own this. I, I sold my Voyager. Some of it. I mean, not all of it. I sold like twenty percent. But like the remember we had, when we had the Voyager CEO on, it was like sixty cents, right? Seventy cents. Yeah, it's at one eighteen. And that's another way we can do it too. And with the CEOs we bring on, what the stocks were, the days we yeah, the day we brought about Voyager. I, that one. I mean, that one is like the most obvious trade. We yeah, had a CEO on. I bought it on the show. I tried to buy more live and got blocked by interactive brokers. And now that thing's up 120%. That's insane. That's insane. insane. I sh I, I'm so mad because I, I sold some of it and I shouldn't have. I'm mad that broke. interactive brokers wouldn't let me buy more. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be mad what too. The hell? 
And then, you know, what's even crazier that we had the CEO or the chairman of TRSSF, you know, the cannabis company, yeah. Terrasen, had him on at $2.62. I bought it at $3.05. Just so you know, I'm not trading ahead of anyone. I bought it like a week, like five days later, like TRSSF. It is up a whopping 161%. It just crossed $8 today. When it hit six, I was like so pumped. I sold 30% of it when it hit six. So my cost on it was is like my total dollar values invested is very low. I sold my my cost basis into it. So now it's just the profits that are rising. I love rising. that. I love I, when I can know, get it. I know, but I would love to have double because I'd be up a lot more. Sure, but you own the stock for free. You get the cash to put it into Tesla. So there you go. Oh, come on. I, I Yeah, so that one right there was when the CEO was on. So then, John G., we need a page for show guests. So the day the show is on, so an idea page oh, yeah. for the show guest. So that's easy. That's easy. A, a show guest page and then like the trader page. So for example, we have a guy in here, Scott V, who's a very good stock picker. We also have a guy in here, Chris Kaji, who writes on the trading ideas page at Benzinga um, that, um, you know, we need to track the results and they need it really quickly. So when you get this out, John, if, even if it's not beautiful, I don't care if it looks like MS-DOS. We don't even care about graphics. No, it looks, we just want the it looks great. No, it MS looks great. DOS, MS DOS is fine. I don't even care. I played poker this weekend on like an MS DOS feeling thing, and I loved it. Like I loved it. I loved. How'd you, about how'd you do in the poker tournament? Ah, oh, fuck that. Okay. I mean, I'm like, I was very. Oh come pissed. on! You told me you did pretty well. If you, I know, but I wanted to win the You're whole top ten percent. That's still yeah, good. I did. I did. I was, I was good. If you guys want to have a poker tournament, press one. If no poker tournament, press two. Okay, and we'll give out uh money to the winners. That's the press one if you do, press two if you don't. I just get too mad when I lose, so I don't know if it's good for me. Um, and fuel cell FCEL's been trading like crazy. Who I don't know if people are trading that, but I do have something, guys. So, John, they want this thing out there. Can you get back at it? Because we really need you to get it. Um, we really need you to, you know, get on that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can see my screen, but we have a sneak preview if you want to look see at your it. screen. Yeah, I shared my screen. I don't why know get, why show that? Why show that? It's like a, it's like a fake tease, man. Well, I mean, we, we can hold like off. that. No, no, we can I hold off. I, I, it's called I, a preview. I, I, I like want to no, release. Want to I don't want to show it because it's like it's like a little bit of a tease, and you know what they say. You know, it's like you know, I don't know. Um, it's like buying blue basketballs or something. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, I just don't know if I want to show it because then it's like they're gonna be like waiting, waiting, and getting mad. So I mean, it's. Uh, I'll do a glimpse. Boom. All right. Come on, oh, that Neo. Was that was too long. Who, John G, don't ever sh have paragraphs like that ever. Was that, was <laughs> not, that's impossible to read. Are you kidding me? Ugh. You got to break that we up, man. We can share it if you want. No, not if people want. You, you, that can't go out to production. I will throw that thing away. This has to be the <laughs> easiest thing to read in the history of the world. If a, if a sentence goes past, I mean, like, and look at all these ones for so, poker. Okay, We're so we need, poker, a, baby. we need a limit then on on length of ideas. I mean, this no, isn't that John, long. This is like got, length of a tweet. John, I got the easy solution. Don't you don't have the challenge? I got it, man. Just uh, uh, this, there needs to be a like a a break or a sentence break if it goes past, you know, oh, two hundred yeah, characters. Yeah. Yeah, we could easily do that. Some, click something. More. It, it just, it just, it, it look, it's that's impossible to read that paragraph I just saw there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll get through these. We'll get through these minor details, but we're getting close. We're getting close. I, I'll see it when I believe it, man. I got faith in you, but you, you know, you're like, it's like I'm too excited for it. I want it last week. I want to play because I want to. Oh, yeah, I want it too. I want it there, and I want. And by the way, I want to put my old picks in there too. I want to upload my. See, old see picks. Jason and I are worried because we're hot right now. We've been like crazy yeah. hot these past few weeks, and. We get cold sometimes. Exactly. We need to get exactly. the winners in. Yeah. So, you know, we need to get the winners in. And John, I need a way to put in some uh, um, past picks too. Yeah, yeah I mean, you could all your picks. Like, I mean, like we're, we're going to put in Google 1999. That's one of mine. You know, so yeah, a couple of those. Yeah. Wait. Will I build a select a date? The date? No, I'm saying you want to select a date. You want to like pick a specific date where you have the idea, or you just want to. I mean, you can upload all your picks. I mean, it's just like no, I don't know. No, you want no, timestamp? No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can't have it so anyone can just go put any date. What I'm saying to you is I've given picks on the show. I've given picks on the show. I'm saying for the last few months, I want to put some of my old picks in, man. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. I got, okay, a, I, got then, a, I got dash for a few dudes already. Okay, and then um, and then, well, then let's go. And then the other thing is Frank M. My boy Frank M. says, John, get it together. I'm getting it together, That's Frank. All right. Slowly. It's coming together, though. Get it together. John, if you get this together, Friday is Black Friday. You name the Apple Watch you want. I will buy it for you out of my own money. 
An we'll Apple Watch. Or the you Fitbit. Want. Or the Fitbit. This is like, well, maybe he wants a Fitbit. Fitbit. FIT. You, you want the Fitbit? <laughs> That's why I like short. I'm short fit. I'm short Fitbit. Okay, so you're short Fitbit. So I'll buy it on my own money. You could have cellular. You could have Wi-Fi. We need to get this thing out there, guys. They're getting yeah, off. And we've got too. some good feedback from Nota Spider in the chat. He's saying, change the font to Comic Sans. Yeah, that's nice. Everybody All likes right. some good Comic Sans. All right, so guys, <laughs> guys, we're going to take a little breather right now. Okay. I'm On Thanksgiving, we're releasing uh, Barstool. I did an interview with Dave Portnoy. You, I don't know if you know who he is, but we're going to show that video. So me and Luke are going to hop off air for a second right now, and I'm going to play that video. I don't think you could hear me. I got to find it again. It's under Brandt. Okay. So here it goes. What's Raz? up, dude? You guys are like heroes to me. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I can't wait for the Greek Town Sports Book to open yes, up. It's gonna be yes. great. Your face is on it. I like no, 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 no. It's no, nice. No, no Brandon, Brandon, come on Brandon's back. Come back. Greatest guy I ever. Will, have uh, you met any other guys? You guys work at one of the sweetest companies. <laughs> Everyone would love to be at your position. And you guys do a phenomenal job. Thank, Thank you. you. Phenomenal. We're here live at the Barstool Sports Snapchat Studio. Everything going on in here. Make sure you're subscribed and following the Barstool Sports Snapchat show. Yeah, I remember you. Uh, I got mad about something. I've never gotten tweets like this. So I'm at my son. My son's nine years old. He's eight years old. Time was a championship basically, and all of a sudden, my phone starts fucking blowing up. And I get that a lot every it, day too. Yeah, you get the people yeah, tell you to clear yourself. I have very thick skin, but no, not no, everyone. Look at this. Like, hey, how about fuck you? You know? Yeah, right. Like, no, that's that's the world. I mean, I get that all the time. I get that all every day, all day. It doesn't bother and, me. And the thing, them are my friends. All right, we're back. We're back. Um, did you guys like that video? You guys are going to be, I don't know, maybe you want to watch it tomorrow. Hopefully you do like it. But uh, that's what we how, how do they watch it? How do they watch it? They have to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Is it going to be on Twitter? Where, where are they yeah, going? go to YouTube.com slash Benzinga. Follow me on Twitter at Jason Raznick, J-S-O-N-R-A-Z-N-I-C-K. We should have our names below our thing, Luke, by the way. Wait, some days it is and some days it isn't. Why is that? Really? Yeah. So I I check. I think at the beginning of the show actually it said hot stocks, Luke. Hmm, I don't know what that. So is. I had some hot stocks today. Okay. So um we had we we're talking that. All right, Luke. On your um. You want to do that thing? Yep. Let's do it. So let's and, go. And I've, I've got a little surprise. So this is the Benzinga Power Hour Trading Top Five. I made a nice little graphic. I didn't have one ready yesterday. I, I don't know what you guys think of this one. It is sort of a hack job, so so feel free to, to roast it in the chat. But but the, the this is what we're naming each day, a, a, a top five list. Yesterday, we, we did what are our top five things to look for when evaluating a stock. The, the, the question today is what are the five stocks that we would want to own for one year? We can't look at the portfolio. You can't trade around them. You just have to have five tickers. You're holding them for a year. What are they? And, and I'll go ahead and get us started. Number one on my list, ticker F, Foxtrot. The company is Ford. I'm, I'm in Ford right now in the live portfolio. I like this one. It's got the EV story. Uh, it, it's got the Bronco story. And it is extremely cheap on a valuation basis. It's been a dog forever. Ford is number one on my list. Jason, number two. Number two on my list, and this is not in any particular order. This is just the top five stocks as Luke um, defined uh, broadly a minute ago. This could be controversial, um, but I, I don't think it is. Is Mine is going to be... Tesla. Nope, I'm not going to go Tesla. I'm going to go... Should I do it? Should I do it? I'm going to go Google. Shit, that was on my list. 
Yeah, Google's a good one. I, I like Google because it, it, the company's going to be around. It's so integrated in a business process. It's so integrated into, into people's lives. It throws off a shit ton of cash. Google is a good one. All right, number three. This is another stock that I own right now. Uh, I'm calling it. It's a little high, but Moderna... Uh, the vaccine company making the COVID vaccine. I, I think once they actually get this thing going, they're going to have more deals coming. They're going to be distributing it. They're going to be throwing off a shit ton of revenue to bring the multiples in line. Moderna, that is stock number three. Jason, number four. Number four. I'm not going with one that like everyone talks about. I'm not going to go with one of those. I'm going to go with something that is just not in the, um, the vernacular as much. And mine is, you know, it's something that could change, but I, I don't want to be just dedicated tech. So like people are probably thinking I'm going to say RKT. I'm not going to say RKT. I own a lot of it, but I'm not saying that right now. I am going to go with something that, um, you know, is just different. Jetterec, GNRC, GNRC. You guys know I own a bunch of, a uh, decent amount of it and it's up, you know, 56%. But I just, these generator, the generator business, I don't think is going away. And I see a, a construction sites, and especially if there's a lot more construction and and with the Democrats and there's a lot of you know build, building around you know bridges and all that stuff. Generic is the generator that powers a lot of those construction sites. So it's not just a Corona play. It's not just a power outage and weather play. I just think it's a nice long term company to own. So mine is GNRC Generic. All right. Number five on the list. I'm also going with one that's a little bit weird. I don't own this one yet, but I'm going with Nautilus, ticker NLS. Uh, I, I think that, that even if we are back in gyms and, and open next year, there is going to be a fundamental shift to more at-home exercise. Uh, but I think that Peloton is overdone. I think that Peloton products are too expensive. Nautilus products are obtainable. That The stock has room to go revenue. It's got room for multiple expansion. So number five on the list, Nautilus, ticker NLS. And that is your Benzinga trading top five. What do you, what do you guys think of those? Do you... Disagree, not like those. Um, and look at we got David Letterman in the top left corner there. Crossed off. We're taking this thing over the top David left. Le oh yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, wait, and they keep bringing up R RKT. What they? But so all right, those are our top five lists. So check that out, guys. And if you disagree or want to share your top five list, maybe uh, if John was still on here, you could put it in the the system that we built. And that way you can track it. But that's my that's my stocks. I bought I bought Generac. I bought call options on it during Corona, and it really performed. I and I I went at expiration. I let one you know sell for the profit, and then I let one convert. So that's what I that's what I did there. Oh, Antonio's uh, pick is PayPal. PayPal's a good PayPal's one. PayPal's a good B -B one. Somebody's got one. Starwood P SWDD. That's a hotel play. What's STWD though? Is that what Starwood? Starwood, is? right? You said STDD. I thought you said okay, good. Yep, you're right. Starwood, good. good. Okay, so Gan, uh, Michael Medina. Hopefully, you're right. Gan could be one. Gan could be one of those, man. I just lost a little bit of patience, but Teladoc's interesting. A lot yeah. of good place here. Uh, PRWG is that a will you, cannabis? Will you stock? pull out? Uh, we pull up with the Benzinger Pro thing and pull up. Uh, what we got? We, I want to pull up DMYT. I want. I need to look at DMYT. So it's Delta Mike Yankee Tango. It looks like it's a tech stock. Whoa. This is a one month chart. Let's go. 11 to 15. Give me the uh, about us. Let's go. I need to see what these guys About do. us. So, this company, what do they do? It is a blank check company. You got a SPAC. I don't know what they're acquiring, but you got a SPAC here. SPACs are hot. Yeah, have you heard that before? SPACs are hot. GMHI, that's the one that we own right now. Oh, let's go, Gores. LIDAR. LIDAR. Elon Musk hates LiDAR, hates LiDAR. You're really getting crazy. He says LiDAR is too expensive. It doesn't solve for a lot of things like weather and stuff. But some people love LiDAR and think Elon's wrong on that. That is an ongoing fight. That hasn't been Well, resolved you know what else yet. Elon hates? These Chinese EV stocks. And Did check he tell this you that? out. Did he tell you that? I think he tweeted that, didn't he? He said Did be he careful with them. He didn't tell me that. But check this out. Neo put trade. We made 30 minutes ago. Already up 38% on this. Let's go, guys. Wow, look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that's the real. So that's your. That's look at your all these winners we have on this list today, baby. Let's go. I mean, that is good, man. That is strong, 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 strong. Um, you guys can see the stuff on replay. And then our editors are supposed to cut up the clip for you guys can get 
the top five in just a quick little video. Um, yep. But, you know, if you're video editors and you want to help us cut up the clips and you can turn around quickly, uh, email email me, jason at benzinga.com. Jason at benzinga.com. And if you're a designer and, and think you can make better banners than I can, go ahead and uh, uh, email us as well. I'm yeah, Luke at benzinga.com. He's jason at benzinga.com. And Jason, and I, look at our names are underneath our thing now. Did you fix I know, that? I don't know why. And I, and I own QRTA still. Um, decent amount. Uh, Brian owns more of it, but I own a decent amount still. Um, DMYT is an online casino. Bigger market share than DraftKings and Penn. What? 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 That's not true. What online Come casino on. is this? We would know about this if it was true. Come on. What, what's he talking about? Let's go. What, what's the name of the casino that DYMT is buying here? I'll put the chart back up. This is a SPAC, a casino SPAC. What is the move? If someone here? could get rid of my spam email that comes to my It's called Ru Rush Street Interactive, it looks like, is the company that they're buying. Do you know that one? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Like, uh, I do know it. Um, I do know it, but um, that's Look at funny. that. Rule of black in the chat. Elon is a lie, Dar. L-I-E, lie. That's funny. Yeah, All right, so this is, this for, is... Elon, for Elon, it's lie, Dar. He's like, it's a lie. He's saying. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I love that you're put your uh, trade already performed. I know, baby. Let's go. Let's get some more cracks in Neo. Again, if this thing's down to 45 bucks in a few days, what? we're the F out of that trade. So Rush Street, he likes. Michael Medina, what'd you buy? Oh, you bought uh, Neo or what'd you buy? Um, when people say, hey, in this Rocket chat, is trending. Let's see. Where's, where's in, the, in this, in the, in this Whoa. chat. What? I don't see Look at Rocket today. Four and a half percent. Something yeah. happened like recently, like within the past few minutes. In this chat, guys, uh, when you say I already bought it or I bought it, um, just um, just don't say it. Just give the symbol or something. We try not to use pronouns here at Benzinga. All right. Does anybody know what the news on Rocket is? Yeah, you got it. I got it. I got it. We, we, the Benzinga Pro news, news Desk has the news, and they, they, it was already John in here. Not uh, John and Jerry and uh, options trade on Rocket. I don't think so. Maybe. What? What do you mean you don't? Oh, you don't think that's no, what caused it? I don't think that's what caused it. I see that news item, and just but does John and Jerry and move a thirty-six billion dollar stock a dollar in a minute? I don't know. Maybe if hey, if he does, great for him. Yeah, I can learn to move Neo five dollars in one minute, but you know, it could be. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's saying that it's a John and Jerry and pump. All right, so maybe that's it. But let's go rockets in both of our portfolios. Nice, nice holiday week. All right, Jason, I got to head out of here in a minute. Uh, anything else? Um, one second. Um, no, I guess not. Someone bought OZON. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't think OZON is trading yet. Well, check it out. Check it out. I, I, I have P bad P quotes. P oh, no, it is. It just P opened. P All right, there we go. It opened a couple minutes ago. And OZON is the one that um, we were talking about for a this while. This is the, the Jumaya answer. of Russia. Yeah. So what's the, the value? We don't know. This. Who does? We don't read. Their guys don't even read their chat. What guys don't read their chat? I don't even know what he's talking about. All right. Mar Mill. Who, which guys don't uh, read the chat? Let us know. And then uh, look up uh, Luke. Uh, SBE. 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 So Chris Kaji probably wrote about DMYT, Luke. Uh, 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 an article, underrated casino play, or one of the other writers, Jason Derrick. Um, mm -hmm. And then, um, all right, here we go. Yeah, so Best of Detroit read that article. He goes, we don't read our articles, I guess. Switch back another, uh, yeah, look at that one. He just, uh, get, to get from the chat, another, another, another spec. You guys love these slacks. Okay, we are going to, Sarah A, we are going to do a step-by-step uh, class to option for newcomers. What is the boot camps link? Can you place it in team? Yes, I'm gonna pull it up now. Benzinga. Mitch, Mitch can Mitch can post it. Com. You all see this? I gotta get Mitch out of this stuff. He's like too. Boom. Loving this. Benzingabootcamp.com, November 10th. Be right. there or be square. This is uh, if if you do not get sick of me after an hour. I hope you don't get sick of me after eight hours because this thing is my baby. This is a full day of education. We go from not knowing how to make a trade or, or understand a stock, make an options trade, et cetera, to we're doing spreads by the end of the day. Full day of education, totally free. Make sure you register November 10th. 
Okay, and uh, Chris is. What's your opinion on OZON? Get it in the chat. All right, but all right, guys. No, I up, have a up, call. Up, I gotta go. I have a call too. But hang up. But hang up, and then I'll do my call. It's over. Guys, so on this stuff, like you guys can chat amongst each other, or you can join Benzinga Pro. And Chris and other guys are in there chatting about ideas. Benzinga Pro is not expensive, especially you'll make it back. Hopefully, make it back on stock picks and finding opportunities like I have with like my Upworks and stuff like that. You literally just find it right in there. So. Um, you know that's the idea. That's the idea there. Um, so go in there and discuss it because OZON is a lot of people are talking about it now. Is it is it selling at the high? Is it selling at the low? Where is it selling at? That's the question. So um, you gotta figure that out. Is it a trade that's gonna rocket to sixty? Is it gonna go to thirty five? You know, I mean, there's a lot of enthusiasm for it. So you would think it's gonna go to fifty sixty. That's what you would think. A lot of enthusiasm, but. Um, that's why you talk to the people in the chat room, and it is very, very helpful in that, in that regard. So, um, you know, keep keep that in mind. And uh, charge point, yeah, it's an EV charging play, absolutely. Uh, Brent SBE, that's a great one. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. I use charge point; it's great for mobile phones. It, it works. I like it. I think SBE though, charge point is a takeout opportunity because when other electric companies need distribution for more Better place. I'm going to look up SBE right now, and I may make a trade on uh, Brent's bending a pro news desk call. So we got a we're at thirty nine dollars, and that's going to be the spec. I'm gonna I want to own it just to watch it. So I'm buying I'm buying some SBE. If it goes down, then I will you know yell at Brent. But I'm buying it right now. I'm going to put a market order in for not a big position, small position, just so I can. Uh, own it and, and watch it. That's what I'm doing. Um, putting a first original order. In. Okay. All right. That that order is in. Now, Chris, what are you talking about? Um, are you are you talking O Z O N right now? Yeah, he is. Okay, he's talking O Z O N. Um, yeah, that's what he's talking. It. He thinks it's a huge longer. Um, you know, he thinks it's a huge uh, uh, long term opportunity in um, O Z O N. So that's where he is going after it. It is, it is it is open for trading. You can buy shares. It opened up forty percent. So these guys don't usually just go straight up. The, they, I mean, I don't think it's going to go to fifty today. But you know, I'll support Chris on his endeavor to uh, you know see this stock move. So I'll pick up some shares for him right now. Here we go. Bought bought some shares. Okay. Um, now what else? What else is there? The charge point. I did a little thing on that. Brent, Brent brought that up. What's so a Dollar Tree? Yeah, those Dollar Trees are five belows. Those are all, always, um, you know, um, those are always exciting. Do we have the clip of John Ajarian on CBC? I, I, I doubt it. Um, but um, five below or Dollar Tree. So let's look at Dollar Tree. I like five below. I. I, I've been liking Five Below for I've been liking it. I love Five Below for a long time. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna buy some long term options on Five Below right now. It's my last trade of the day, and it'll, you guys will be able to see it in the system. I'm gonna buy some all months. I'm gonna go out many months. I'm gonna get a strike around 170 strike, and I'm gonna do just calls. This is gonna be here we go. Five Below is trading down a percent today. 170 calls. We're in November. I'm gonna go to ideally May, and then I'm gonna buy. Oh, those are up a lot, but I don't care. I'm gonna go February or May on the 170s or 165. Let's see what I want to do. I'm going on the. I'm gonna go to the Februarys. I'm buying those, and I think they're gonna be. Eventually, winter. It's just gonna take some time. I think five below is undervalued. I've always thought every every time I've said that and the stock's up, you're like, oh, it's up. But I, you've always been right to buy five below, so I'm buying it. Um, all right, I bought it. Now this is the show, guys. Thank you. If you like the show, please smash the like button. Please give us some love. Please share on your social media, and we appreciate it. And thanks for the name of the show. Sorry we didn't go with the other one that you guys wanted, um, the funny name, but uh, that's. You know, that's that's the show today. And you know where to find us, like us. If you can edit video, we could use you. Um, we need help there, and we need to get stuff out. And uh, we love you. Have a great day. Benzinga out.